Workers from the Pew Center have documented incidents of harassment of religious groups worldwide, a term defined as including, quote, physical assaults, arrests and detentions, desecration of holy sites, and discrimination against religious groups in employment, education, and housing. And that's, it has concluded that Christians are the single most harassed group today. In the year 2012, Pew reports, Christians were, has, were, were harassed in 110 countries around the world. This is particularly true in the Middle East, where one of those we will hear from today, Archbishop Francis Chulakot, has said, and I quote him, flagrant and widespread persecutions of Christians rages even as we meet. Archbishop Chulaka was the papal nuncio to Iraq, where he has seen repeated violent assaults on Christians, such as the October 31st, 2010 assault upon Our Lady of Deliverance Syrian Catholic Church in Baghdad, in which 58 people were killed and another 70 were wounded. Attacks such as this have led the Christian population of Iraq, whose roots date back to the time of the apostles, to dwindle from 1.4 million in 1987, prior to the first Gulf War, to as little as 150,000 today, according to some estimates. Much of this exodus has occurred during a time in which our country invested heavily in blood and treasure in seeking to help Iraqis build a democracy. As we witness the black flag of al-Qaeda again flying over cities such as Fallujah, which we had won at the cost of so much American blood, we wonder how it is that for Christians in Iraq, life appears to be worse now than it was under the vicious dictator Saddam Hussein.